We are th uh, two weeks in. Uh, our scores look like this. We got the Captain at three, the Witch King at three, five. The Woods Girl at five, five. And the Wizard at six. So all in all, last week was was busy it's one of those where people are scoring but i'm not sure like i said i'm not sure they're having a great game but they're scoring so at least we're getting something done um the we did have a couple things that we needed to do i will go over those momentarily one is i gave the captain um another uh, another uh, card. And so it seems that he has a member of the Lancers challenging him to He is a member of the Lancers, challenging him to a fight at a dwelling, right? What dwelling does he have? He has the large camp. So, so Lancer at large camp. Done. So that's what he has. Oops, no, I messed up my screen there. Okay. So large camp. He's got Lancer 3. You know, talking trash, effectively. In addition, we do th we drew three more events. Um, uh, Peddler appears at the house. Um, the condition for that is to oops, and you can't see what I'm doing because I got the the scores up. Peddler appears at the house. Uh, you get a buy off him. Remember, his stuff costs four four times base value, and you will get a victory point. Lost Shaman, the Shaman appears, wanders into the wizards, where the wizard is, as you see the wizard here, at the wolves. And then a goblin siege. So the goblins have choked off the cliff in Evil Valley, leading to the house. So a lot going on up there. Um... So the captain would certainly like to slay a spider, but um, not not in a great not in a great way. He might head back to the guard and re up some of his cards here. I think I think he might do that. In the meantime, uh, what? What do we get done? That's a great question. I, I do not know. Could be the vault too. The vault's a good uh, a good thing to open as well. Now uh So yeah, I think what we're gonna do for the captain. So okay, so I think the captain's gonna go one, two, three. He's gonna return. So he is gonna return to the guard. Unless there's another place he can go. Is there? I don't know that there is. I do not know that there is. I think he's gonna return to the guard. And I think when he returns to the guard, he's gonna turn in a fair number of his cards, at least two. And I think I'm gonna send 
the guard into the mountain to catch this. All of them. We'll send. We'll send the whole crew. So we're gonna send. So I'm gonna take these guys. I'm gonna assign them to our gentleman here. In there we go. So, so if the captain one two three. So move, 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 guard. And I mean, I hate to say it, um, hide and then extra hide just to make sure. But I don't know if there's anything else. We have to end the day there to transfer our, our quests. So I think we're going to do that. Um, meanwhile, our guy is going to go move, move, move into ruins two, I believe. One, two, three into ruins two. And then they're going to hide. Uh, they'll hide ahead of time just to make sure. So there he goes. He's going to head there. Uh, and he's going to have all the guard with him. So we're going to split up for a little bit. I will try to catch up, of course. Uh, the woods girl, in the meantime, is going to go to six because she has to. So she's going to move six. Uh, I think she hides and then move, move spider again. And hopefully. Uh, hopefully we're okay there. Uh, the wizard. So yeah, she's trying to kick Spider Slayer. So the wizard, not having a great time here. Having said that, well, yeah, unfortunately when we do Diplomat Goblins, we're going to get a single goblin and we're not going to... We did want to at least try hide and search. For the horde. And in the meantime, because we will end a phase, because I think the lost shaman, the lost whatever, we just have to end phase there. Uh, end of phase in the clearing will become his guide. So pretty much as soon as we end a phase, we will become the guide of the shaman. And then we can, the next day, return him. So I think that's actually the play. But we want to, we do want to end a phase in here. And while we're doing that, we might as well uh, try to search and find that horde. Um, that leaves the Witch King. The Witch King has found the shrine. So I think we're going to search twice uh, there. And see how that goes. Maybe we catch a spell. So we're on day 15. And starting week three. So welcome to the third week. We got goblin. Ooh, and octopus. And, and ogres and wolves. Oh my. Okay. Uh, there we go. Our hireling goes first. So they will hide. And they end up here. So let's see if they hide. He does. So I'm going to just flip him like that for hidden for the time being. Um, Ruins is going to draw more goblins there. So, And then these goblins are on the prowl, and they will jump these guys. And we might, uh, we might fight them. So... Yellow, and we are sort of sitting on top of them. Okay, that's him, uh, the Witch King. So he's going to roll on. Remember, all he can do is magic sight. So we're looking for four. Three would be great. Two would be great. One. Four, three, two, or one. We got two rolls to make it happen. That's a six. That is crap. And five, also crap. So nothing good happens there. And then the question is, uh, do we get jumped? Uh, Patter and Howl. Patter's gonna draw first, but he's there 
no one comes to us, we are done. And then all the goblins are, are done. So, so we're done there. Uh, one, two, three. We are going to hide a couple times just in case. We fail once. We fail again. Fortunately, it is it's the patrol, actually. So they're going to show at the guardhouse. And I think we like the patrol anyway, so I think I think it's fine. Wizard has to hide to avoid getting gang tackled by a thousand wolves. He does. And now he has to search. Uh, he's not going to locate anything. He is done. The shaman is now on him. And I think he's going to try to get out of dodge here this next time. The woods girl moves up there. She's going to try to hide. She does, and then she moves into the spider space. Now, do these goblins prowl the siege goblins? They probably shouldn't, technically. I mean, just as a thematically, as a. Uh, I'm going to say that they do not. As I said, thematically they are laying siege, so they are blocking the road to the valley. So we're not going to move them this time. The bat is still there. Spider there. All right. I think I think that is that is the battle for that's the day. And we have a couple fights effectively. So let's let's figure out the fight. Let's do the easy one first. The Woods Girl is here with the spider. Now remember, nothing is on her sheet. As I said, I should always drag one down just because. Nothing's on the Woods Girl sheet. Eh, I'm not even gonna bother. You, you guys know what's going on. Uh, she's gonna ready the bow like that, and she's gonna fire it like that. Um, if you recall, this thing is heavy. It's unarmored. She does heavy damage. She needs to get a 3, 2, or 1 um, to kill a heavy unarmored creature. So 3, 2, or 1. She gets a 4, doesn't kill it. Does she become un... Does she, is she seen? And indeed she is seen. Uh, and so... I'm going to have to fatigue, though. I should remember that. If I need to play a... He's probably been getting away with some murder here as far as fatiguing. So she's going to have to fatigue. Probably forgot a couple of hers. <clears throat> and she runs out of the clearing. So not, uh, not her best moment there. She is done. Now these guys are going to uh, essentially fight the goblins. So they become unhidden. They each lure one goblin. And the other goblins will ultimately become randomly assigned. And so we're going to give them one, two, or three. One, two, three, four, five, or six. So one goes here, and one goes here. And then the last one is assigned to three. So two of them go right there. So this guy is going to go here and here. Uh, he's going to do that. And then we'll pull uh, some tokens here. Finally, okay, so that's it. That's that's our battle uh, orders. The nice thing about this battle is it's not, the, the guard is fine. The guard, they're going to be hit every round. Uh, these guys aren't going to do enough damage. So we stay aligned. The first box does not flip. The second box flips. So even this medium star is only going to do medium damage. These guys are armor. So medium versus heavy, and we are fine. <laughs> so down here, 
We'd like a one or a four, we get a six, so that sort of sucks. It's gonna shift in this fashion. So it looks like we're gonna miss. Uh, flip. Uh, nothing. Flip. I don't, know if, I don't even know if it changes our play, frankly. Um, and then the guy down below here is a one. So he stays intact as well, and he doesn't flip. So uh, we'll start up here. Long weapon hits this guy, and he is killed. And that'll start next round. This is all misses. Same thing here. We intercept, and we kill this guy. And so he is going to And so the strange thing is just to make sure that we get some of this uh, killing done, we're going to deploy. So he's still on him. We're going to deploy two here. So what happens is the goblin becomes the owner of the sheet. His target is two, the last guy to be deployed onto him, and he becomes an attacker on the sheet. So we don't need this shit anymore because it's obvious who we're attacking. And what this means is I have a two-thirds chance of intercepting. And then this guy will just fight those guys for a little bit. So we roll this die. He goes here. But now we have to shift all these guys. Since they're no longer playing on their own sheets, they behave like denizens. So he... Um, we have a two. So he goes to here, and the four, he stays here. Over on this side, I'm going to actually switch that up, and then we're going to hopefully get a one or a four. We get a one. So he does, and these two shift like that. So does the first box flip? No. Does the second box flip? It won't matter. No, third box flip. Yes. Fourth box flip. No. Uh, up here we have to check for flipping too, strangely enough, since they're not playing on their own sheets. Uh, he doesn't flip, and he doesn't flip. So what happens? He intercepts him and kills him. He intercepts him and kills him. Uh, same thing as before. Uh, he will lure, he will deploy. So this guy's going to go here like that. And now we're down to our last couple goblins. So the guard taking out the goblins is a pretty, is a done deal. So first thing, let's roll for the goblin. The goblin stays up here. But because our guys aren't playing on their own sheets, they have no guarantee that they're going to stay here. So he gets a two. So two stays put, and one and three shift like that. He gets a three, so he goes here. Does the goblin flip? Does the soldier on the left flip? Yes. Does the soldier on the right flip? No. Uh, he kills him. That's the round there. And we're looking for a one or a four on this second sheet. He gets a four. Everybody stays intact. It's not going to matter if anyone flips. Does the guard, uh, does the uh, goblin flip? He does not, and he is killed. And in a couple rounds, we've made short work of the goblins, and this is a 21-point gain for the captain. And these guys go in the dead box. And these guys all return to the board. A great fight for the guard. Again, that's an easy one. Um, frankly, frankly, he should go and have them tag these guys too. Might as well, right? And just go and waltz through and kick those guys up.
Uh, we might not, though. We might head into to the vault, because that's not buying us much. Um, we already... I think the captain right now expects to win Prowess. Maybe the Woods Girl can challenge him. Not at the pace she's going. So I think that's all the fights and bits. And I think day 15 is ended. And so we need to write a day six. Oh, wait, we do need to get rid of the captain stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of uh, Pub Crawl. We're going to get rid of the challenge because I don't want to deal with finding the campfire. Spider Slayer, I'm going to get rid of because I don't see a lot of spiders. So we're going to turn in our whole hand. We're going to get Curse Breaker. That's a rough one. That one's a bad draw. It's get cursed and get uncursed. Rescue is a good draw. And enchanter, enchant three hexes. That's a terrible draw. So we had a pretty crap draw, but we did get rescue. Rescue at least is good. I, I don't I do not mind rescue, but we're we're likely going to um get get rid of this crap. So um anybody else? So what do we got here? Um First thing is, what is the captain going to do now? He, I think he's going to stay put for one more day, right? So I do believe we're going to <clears throat> at least trade with the patrol to see what they have. That'll be his extra phase. Uh, but we have to stay here the day. So that sort of bites. Um, I mean, clearing that siege would be good, too. There's so many just plain old goblins to, to fight. But clearing the siege would require dragging the... Ugh, just... And we could do it, too. I mean, there would be a trivial... Well, with the caveat that, you know, this guy's no slouch. This This dude right here, he matches up pretty well against... The guard flipped on this side, he is not as dangerous, he is typically dead. But flipped on this side, um, because he cannot be well, uh, he can't be hit, but he's not going to auto hit anyone either. So, yeah, I think I think these goblins are mostly a done deal too with the guard. So, I wonder. That's the question, right? Do you pop the vault? Do you try to break the siege? You're going to get a victory point. The vault might have a great treasure in it. It's going to take you two days to get up there. And two days to get back. It's going to be one, two, three, uh, ooh, one, two, one day, two days, three, and, and you have to find, uh, you know, find the vault. This is, mm, man, that's a rough one. You were talking two days to get there. Let's say two days to find it. Two days to get back. Six days. Seven days. Eight days to get back to the guardhouse. And then maybe on the ninth day you can engage the goblins. Maybe. Do we even have nine days? One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine days. So that is literally going to take you all the way to the end of the hiring. Oh, man, I don't. I'm not sure how I feel about that. In the meantime, uh, the vault, like I said, it might hold a couple of treasures. Now, if you just run back one, two, three, four, one day, two days, you could be engaging on the third and fourth day and just roll right up in there. And then here's the hold. With the caveat that there's a lot more of those dudes. And that is dangerous because at that point, someone's going to get hit. And if someone gets hit, they're going to get killed because the sword goblins are killers. Um, I am going to say that we stick with the plan and head for the vault. I don't know that it's a great idea, but I say we stick with the plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a trade phase with these guys. And then the other question is, you can pop that rescue too, but when and where? So, man, this captain, he's rough. Captain is a rough, rough haul here today. So what I'll do is, oops, I'll pop two trades, and then frankly, you know, I hate to say I'm going to, you know, rest. It's pointless, but I'm going to rest so that I can trade cards in. The guard, on the other hand, is going to move up into the mountains uh, two to five. They're going to move, move two, and move, move five, and they are done. So that's done. The woods girl is going to repeat her move. Because she's trying to get that spider. Uh, the wizard is out. He's he's done, bud. So he's not going to continue. He's going to run out one Curse Valley 2. That's his goal. So he moves and moves Curse Valley 2. And he is done. Wizard in tow. Uh, the Witch King. A uh, little disappointed in what I did before. He's going to search and search. And we are done. And that is day 16's write up. Yep. Took a while. These are taking a while. These are these are strangely thoughtful moves here. Super concerned. So let's see what monster we get. We get four giants and trolls yet again. So uh the wizard's gonna go first. And we're gonna see how that all rolls out. So the wizard's easy. He ends up there and he is done. Uh, the Witch King is searching twice. Remember, we've found this place already. Oh, God. Nothing. Four. Perceived spells. If you have artifact or spellbook active, or if you've discovered a site with spell cards, look at the spell cards and learn the one you want without awakening any spell. So, very simply, he's going to take the Type 5 spell in here. Uh, in the shrine. He doesn't have to flip it or anything. Like, he doesn't have to um, move them around or anything like that. So we're going to take our saved objects, type 5 spells, put them up there, and we are going to randomize them and shuffle them once and then draw one. Pentangle. Well, ooh, what, what do we got here? The demon, uh, winged demon and imp cannot attack you. All spells and curses are temporarily nullified. 
No new spells can affect the caster. So that's a weird... So that's his first... Um, no, that was his second, because the first one was a nothing. Uh, giants and Trolls. I think nothing appears. So he is done. Nice thing is he got spells. So he's actually going to score two points in spells. So that is going to put him right up there with where the Wood Girl is currently. So he is at least making some progress. I do think, though, I'm not sure it's not time to get out of there. Uh, the captain is going to trade with the patrol. Uh, elusive Cloak and Reflecting Grease. Uh, I mean, sure. I'm going to go for the Reflecting Grease just as a... And we are friendly with the patrol. And it doesn't matter. That's our trade. We're going to do another trade phase where we don't do anything and we are done. Does anyone show up here? No. And we are... Oh, that Lancer goes back because we uh, were... And we are done. The Woods Girl is hiding. She does. She returns here. Like you do. Uh, Stink M is going to draw nothing because these guys are dead. These guys head up in the here, and they are beset upon by a whole host of baddies. I don't think anything else comes because these are all cave. Um, stink roar, yeah. So we have two fights we're going to do again. The, uh... The Woods Girl first, she's the easy fight. Effectively, she needs to roll a 3, 2, or 1 to kill this guy. You're going to ready with a light 4, and then shoot. 1. So she does put an arrow into the spider. Spider is killed for 3 points. She has Spider Slayer, so she's going to score Spider Slayer. And that's going to give her an extra card point, which is good because she's going to be keeping slightly ahead of um, her competition. Now, for Spider Slayer, she probably gets a trophy. She does. She gets Spider Blood. Her weapon does one extra star. Discard to Chrome. So that's cool. Um, I'm going to copy that card and again I wish I could turn off that rotation she gets spider blood weapon does Extra star. Obviously, it's one use. And then it is discarded. <laughs> it flips it over. It's weird, but okay. Okay. So she is done. That's her fight. And that was a good fight. Um, and now we got this fight. This is an interesting one here also. So let's, let's see how the captain's guys do now. So, um, I think easy enough, we're going to lure him to here and play on this side. Hmm. 
No, that's not a good one. That is a rough play. Because you are auto hit. And you can't get out of here. So that's a, this is a bad, these guys are bad fights. These are bad fights for our guardsmen here. I did not. I should have turned. Uh, should have turned back. I made a bad decision, guys. I made a bad decision. So these are bad fights. This fight is effectively a thirty-three percent chance to kill the troll, and otherwise, uh, one of these guys is dying. So. So I think what we have to do is we're going to take him here and lure him here. And we're going to play on that side. And we're going to obviously hit him. And that, that's an easy one. And then we're going to deploy here. And this will be the troll's target, and this will be the extra attacker on the troll's side. And what we're hoping to do is only lose one guy and kill the troll the first round for sure. And this, you know, so we'll we'll see what happens. This is could be disastrous actually for the poor captain. I I feel bad. I think I misjudged, or really just wasn't thinking about how this fight plays out. Uh, this troll is super dangerous. And I'm going to play them on this side. They're not guaranteed to stay on this side, but I'm going to play them on this side. Um, so let's see how this rolls. So this guy first. Five. Not, well, not too bad. So that's going to shift down. He's going to shift down. And does the club flip is the question. And the club does not flip. So that's pretty much what we needed, the club to not flip. Over here, we need the troll to not, uh, well, we need one of these guys to line up with the troll first round. So let's see where the troll goes. The troll stays put. Let's see where our boys go. We need one of them to stay put. Neither of them stay put. They all shift down to here. Well, that is awful. Uh, first guy flips, no. Second guy flips, no. So here, um, we go first. Well, this attack goes also, but we go and we undercut the giant and he is dead. On this side, both of these attacks miss. The troll then kills him. So he goes to the dead pile. So that stings. And then largely we're going to deploy just like this. <clears throat> um, so let's see where the troll ends up. The troll ends up staying put. Let's see where the two guys end up. Hopefully one of them stays put. Neither of them stay put. Uh, he goes here. And he goes... Uh, here? Oh, geez. Does it? Yeah, no, absolutely. Same thing. So he dies. And it doesn't really matter if our guys flipped. We would have had to roll both of them to see if they both flipped. Uh, now we're going to play on our own sheet. The troll goes two, so the troll goes here, and I think he's going to complete the trifecta by killing the HQ. And really a disastrous fight for the guard, because each of those each each of those rounds. So round one. 
you had a two thirds chance of killing that troll, and mostly, and you blew it. And then same round two. Um, so I think the guard has been wiped out. So we gain eight and lose 18 notoriety. So that's minus 10 total. These guys all go to the dead pool. Man, I feel awful. <laughs> I feel terrible. I, uh, I feel like I have failed the guard. That is the tremendous troll for you. It's funny because the tremendous troll is, um, like he's not the alpha uh, absorb target, and yet against certain characters, certain you know he is really good now. Again, that was, I, I feel, poor lost, actually, on the guards' part, because they had quite a few chances to, to intercept that guy, and they didn't. So what I don't know, actually, is what happens when the hired leader... Uh, right. Um, so, I mean, all his belongings go, yeah, I mean, he, he's, he's just, all his belongings go to his box. So the guard stuff is back at the guard howl. Um, it could be pilfered effectively. Man, that is a bummer for sure. Um, wow. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Captain's like, hey, patrol, you want to come with me? <laughs> I mean... I didn't just get everybody killed. I did. I totally did. Um, man, that is a just boy. I just you know, should have turned them around and massacred a thousand goblins. Um, so I think that's the end of day sixteen, and we're turning in two quests for the captain who's having. Having a rough time. He has Giant Slayer, Rescue, and he got... What did he get? He ended up with Treasure Cash. Cash in the City. So Cash City. And Giant Slayer would be pretty easy if he had his buddies left. Not so easy now. Uh, the Woods Girl turns in Spider Slayer. She gets Find Armor in Roar. Uh, the wizard is still where the wizard is, and the witch king still uh, doing his thing, but he has learned a spell. So let's see what we got. So the news is going to reach. The news is going to reach our guy. I mean. So I think he can loot that, right? He can loot the site. Because all their stuff is there. I don't think he needs to find it. Does he need to search and find it or, or not? This is a weird thing. I mean, I know I've killed natives before. Just not this way. <laughs> just just not, not like this. Um, you know, that's just a weird... A weird. Uh, I think.
Uh, Yeah, I think that is just an abandoned, that is an abandoned um, pile. So you can loot a site of abandoned belongings anytime it's in its clearing. Uh, all right. So weird. But the captain's thinking, well, I spent all this money, and those guys got themselves killed. I'm going to loot this place. Um, so we're going to execute five searches. Because we need to get our cash back, because otherwise we're in a little bit of trouble here. So, so that's what he's doing. Um, I think the woods girl... Find armor is totally pointless for her. I mean, it's not totally, but you know what I mean. It's pretty darn pointless. Uh, how many bats? How many bats are here? Two. Okay. So I think the Woods Girl is going to head back. One, two, uh, one, two, three. Okay, so that's cool. So she's going to go move, because remember, the first one is one. Move three. Hide. And then move into the goblins. That's what she's doing. So she is done. Uh, the wizard is going to try to get his his guy back. I think he can. So he just goes and he drops him off at the inn. So the, the wizard is going to head to the inn. I believe that that's enough. Does he just have to end a phase? <clears throat> uh, doesn't, I didn't say. Return the visitor to dwelling. Yes, end a phase. Just write that down for later. So we end a phase. We're going to get this victory point. And that's cool. So that's easy. So. So we're going to get that point. And then once we have that point, what are we going to do? Um, goblins. Well, I think. One, two, three, four. I think we just charge on in, frankly. So one, two, three, four. I think we're going to end up in Ruins 5 and try to score Diplomat also. So those are our two our moves there. And then the Witch King has learned his spell. And that's definitely helping him. I don't know if he has any other... I don't think there's any other spells on the board for him right now. I think he needs, if he's going to play, I think he needs to get out of, he needs to get out of this cave. So he's going to move, move to the pole. And he is done. So there you go. There's our day. Um, that was weird. This is a weird, it's, it's slow going. I, I do apologize, but man, this is a weird the weird uh, Giants and Trolls again, because we just can't get rid of these guys. <laughs> We're just all Giants and Trolls. Captain goes first. 
the captain is looting every possible thing. So he is going to loot. Um, he's like, look, guys. Y'all don't need it no more. So, so he's going to loot right here. Uh, two, so he takes the second item on there. That's a helmet. So that's one item. So it's one loot. Uh, two loots is the fourth. One, two, three, and four for the broadsword. So that's two things. Third loot is the fifth. One, two, three, four, and five. So he drags a mace out of there. Fourth, four, another mace. Fifth and final, uh, want Fifth and final loot is two. The second item is an axe. So he definitely has a lot of crap out of there. And as he's doing that, he will adjust his bits. <clears throat> I think he's going to inactivate. I mean, the broadsword is... is Notably better than the axe, simply because of the length. So he's going to load up on crap. No one shows up here, and he is done. Uh, we go two. I don't think anything shows up because it's giants and trolls again, which we've had a lot of giants and trolls. We're going to go uh, one, drop the shaman. Keep in mind that that is a... A point. So we got a point. Uh, in addition, the shaman is, I think, he's neutral with the wizard. Yeah, so the shaman is friendly. Uh, we should have, uh, yeah, that would be a shaman is friendly. So that is one move, two moves, three moves, four moves. We just walk on in. Uh, and we encounter the goblins. They block us. Done. And then finally, she's going to go one, two. She is going to hide because that's a woods tile, a uh, woods clearing. So that's three. And then four. And she wanders into there. And she is done. Um, so we're going to do the, uh, we're going to do our guy first here, our wizard. The wizard gets diplomat, goblins. So he's going to take a guy as a follower. He's going to score his two victory points for the day, which is pretty cool. And the rest of these guys disperse and head back to there. So he is done, and we have completed his his day. Um, I think the woods girl could use a day. Um, so the woods girl has a little crew, and so what she is gonna do from the shadows here is she's going to use her black magic source which she has so she's going to cross that off a one-time use black magic source and she's going to cast from the dark <clears throat> control bats and those bats are now under her control oh maybe she shouldn't do that Oh, this goes in the dead pile, by the way.
And the only reason being, maybe she shouldn't do that, is because that spell... Let's make sure. Let me read the rules. A little, a little bit of checking going on here. Uh, let me check the ambush rules because I think if she casts a spell on multiple things, she gets she gets uh, uh, um, ambushes. Yes, if he attacks multiple targets, he must become unhidden. So if he casts a spell on multiple targets, he is unhidden. So that would be these two uh, bats. So the question there is, so the problem is, if you become unhidden, then you're going to take two of these goblins on your sheet. And that becomes super clunky. Whereas if you ambush them, so she's going to not cast first. Hold on. She is going to ambush, and we'll see how it goes. That's really the, the key now is you're like, well, we're going to see how it goes. Um, we're going to slow play this until... And if he only had two goblins, then the bats would be fine. And she might kill one or two of them and still remain hidden, in which case she can then cast and just make this a thing. So she's going to try this guy first. Uh, on a goblin, it's a one, two, three, or four to kill. So this is the first round. And she does kill the big goblin with a, a, an arrow through the eye. Done. So that's one kill. That's round one. Round two, she's going to try this guy. That is not a kill, so she misses him. Um, or doesn't really miss, but... And she becomes unhidden. Ah, that is the worst. She's had bad ambush luck, so she kills one dude. Um, at that point, she is unhidden. Next round, everyone is on her sheet. She can't cast. She's going to run away, and she's going to fatigue this guy. Um, as she runs. That's fine. She can do that again. It's just she has not had very good luck on her ambushing today. So, so be it. Um, okay. So that is her day. And she gets a point. And the siege has to be cleared for her to get a point, or for her to get any of the rest of the stuff. What I will do, though, is put this guy up here because she has... She's killed him. If the siege is cleared, she then gets the treasure, whatever that treasure is. But the siege has to be cleared before she gets a reward. Um, is there anything else at the end of the day today? I don't think there is. I think we are done with the day. That is what, 17. Uh, so let's look at the captain's treasure pile here he has four treasures left i think um you might as well search two three you might as well try it and then trade with the patrol and you can sell all these extra weapons and try to get some of your cash back i think that's what he's going to do today so i think that's his day the Woods Girl is going to move out into three, move three, I think she hide hides, and then moves back to the Goblin. Um, I think the Wizard now is looking to figure out what he's doing. Lucky day, re man. Well, that, that, that is a little unhelpful um, there. Uh, she still has her black source, by the way, because we did not use it. The Diplo Goblins becomes Lucky Day. Reroll like that. Um,
Uh, I think our Witch King is going to move into two. So he's going to move into Mountain Two. He is going to rest once. And that's pretty much all he can do, unfortunately. So that's why you got to get out of that damn place. So one, 18, 18, 17. So our mage is left. So what is the wizard going to do? Lucky Day was not super awesome to figure out what else to do here. Um, what does the shaman have to sell? First thing, he has a type three and a type two spell. That ain't bad. With the caveat that it's going to cost us some cash, and we really don't have a great deal of cash, right? Yeah. We can buy drinks for free. We could thus. Hire some rogues if we wanted to. Does that get us anywhere? Good question. Well, it might actually. Strangely enough, it might get us actually quite far. Well, no, maybe not, right? It's sort of, oh, yeah, no, 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 no. You know what? It might let us clear out that wolf den. If we could hire two or let's say three rogues. You got a couple dangerous ones in there for sure. All right. Uh, um, But I think you might be able to, yes, you might be able to take them. So I think what we're going to do is go one, two, three. So we're going to head up in. So we're going to move, move, move to the in. I think we, and I think we're just going to hide first day. Um. Does buying drinks last a day, or does it just last for one roll? Because if it's just one roll, then well, it doesn't matter, right? We got we 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 um we're gonna use it multiple times and and use it up. And here I'm looking for rules again. So again, I appreciate if you're watching me flittle through rules. So. I rarely buy drinks. <laughs> if I am rich and, you know, right? Buying drinks. 54-ish. We're hiring natives as 45. Let's try that. Uh, and you're probably hearing fireworks go off, maybe. I don't know. Um, here, let me see. Let me, I'm going to actually look this up here because this might be more searchable. Oh, here it is. No, probably not, huh? Can we uh, find in here? Can we do a find? Mm. 
No, it doesn't. That doesn't search here. It does something else entirely. Not a thousand percent sure what it does. So one thing I don't love about the third edition rules or whatever is it's just a little bit um there's hard to find certain things that are themey together aren't aren't easy to find right um Natives, appearance, uh, hiring, buying drinks, 771B. All right, well, that's good. That's a, that's a better 771B. All right, let's look this bad boy up. 771B. Seven, seven, <coughs> Buy drinks before rolling. So there you go. So it would be every higher roll. So literally, if you want to hire three guys, it's, it's every roll. So you're going to use up these three uses pretty darn quick. Which is fine. Sure. Let's go with that. Um, yeah, we only have 10 bucks anyway, so. So it, uh, if, uh, um, And we have this goblin too. I uh, this uh, this guy too. So and he's he's uh, he could he might be able to do some damage. So yeah, we'll move 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 high. Done. So we got that. He's doing that. She's going back to the goblins. He is gonna go try to hire. And our witch king is trying to get out of this cave, which he's been stuck in for days. Um. So there you go. That's day eighteen. Man, I apologize. This lasts. This is lasting forever. This uh, this week. Six, back to bats. You know why? We need more bats. You know it would be better? Bats. <laughs> um, you know what I need? I need some more bats. Um, so the Witch King is first. And he's going to go out. And he is going to rest. And he rests one of these chits. And I don't think anything shows up for him. I think it is quiet here. And... Oh, Howl. Maybe Howl. Does Howl... Ah, yeah, that's too bad. So Howl throws some bats up. The Woods Girl was actually hoping to go first. He would get more bats and just roll them in. But we are done. And sh uh, we're done right there. Um, The Wizard goes next. And he's going to roll on up. And he is going to hire. So he's going to hire... He is going to utilize his drinks, his drink tickets. So we will take one of his drink tickets out. So he has one left, and he's now friendly with the rogues. And he is hiring the friendly rogues. On a three, price times three. So for three bucks, he's going to hire this guy. And I think he will. So for three bucks, we are hired. And that is end, end of the game, pretty much. So Rogue 7. But that is our day. Uh, the Woods Girl is next. She's moving out. She's going to hide. She blows it. I think she potentially has another one of those, which she does. 
and she succeeds and then heads right on back in. Hidden, as it were. So done. Uh, the captain is searching four times. So let's let's do four times. He gets the fourth thing in the pile. One, two, three, four. Flips it. It's the ointment of bite. So that's the first roll. The second roll is nothing. The third roll is nothing. Fourth roll, nothing. Um, and then he's going to trade with his buds here. And I think he's going to sell all of these things. So he's going to sell 12, 20 gold worth of weapons to the patrol. Roll. There you go. And he scores 20 gold. So not the worst. And he ended up with a broadsword out of it. So it's it's not it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh he can actually occasionally get a hit with this thing because he can heavy this. So he can actually do heavy plus damage, so tremendous, you know, uh tremendous possible damage. So he can kill maybe a giant with it. Now, mind you, terrible fight times on this. But he can he can do it. I don't know that that's not everyone we need now. Oh, I do think though, um, not to be not to be super clunky. I did forget this. So when everyone died, we did pop Giant Slayer. But I'm going to say that he doesn't get the trophy because, you know, it was lost with his uh, buddies there. So he did get Giant Slayer. He killed a giant, and now he has Gray Source instead. So uh, doesn't want that. <clears throat> so he will... So he does score another point, at least. Um, and he gets Giant Slayer. Uh, the Woods Girl does have a fight on her hands again. It's not a bad fight. Uh, she is going to shoot this guy before anything else. Same play, right? Same play. Um, she's going to shoot this guy. It's a 4 3 two, one. It's a 1. He is dead. So she does shoot him. Does she stay hidden? This is... Oh my god. <laughs> she doesn't. So she's going to fatigue and get out of there again. Because, I mean, because. <laughs> oh, my God. So the thing is, because, because her chit is so slow, her magic chit is so slow, she can't cast control bats if there's anything at all on her sheet, right? So she has to be hidden to cast control bats. She doesn't want those goblins on her sheet, typically. So yeah, so so just a that was a bad that's a bad bad scene for her. She does get another point. This, by the way, people I I, I have had people go well. Man, that that ambush sniping seems like it's really really powerful, and I go, yeah, it is. But for every time you kill like three dudes in quick succession, 
with no repercussions to you. You get this sort of piddly thing where you're getting a point every day, but have to flee every day, and you are just stuck. And she's sort of stuck. Um, now she's going to clear the siege is my guess, but when day 21, I mean, that's a lot of time to, to dink around. Um, nonetheless, we are writing day 19. So the captain at the end of the day, he's going to burn gray source because he doesn't doesn't want that card so he will get one more purple source well because you know but i think it's time for him to move on so what i want to see is what is suitable for rescue man um it's a lot of a lot of cranky a lot of cranky creatures here for certain. Um, so the captain is going to put his rescue. He has one and the Witch King has one, but the captain's gonna put his rescue here. And he's going to hope to get there. So that morning, he 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 knows the rescue is there. He rolls, adds two to this seven. It is the bash car. It's a bash car, buddy. And the bash car, buddy, is here, and he is going to rescue that guy. So, uh, bash car. in what is it uh cliff two so he's he's ready to roll um the witch king ought to at least look also at his in case uh the witch king is not gonna fight three bats that is just not a thing he's not fighting that troll The Witch King is going to move to Ruins 1. Move, move. Uh, is it three moves to Ruins 1? Or is it just two moves to Ruins 1? It is one, two moves to Ruins 1. So move, move. Ruins 1. Rest again. Uh, spell X. And we're going to enchant. Do an enchant phase there. And that is going to be our turn. And we're done with that. So that's day 18, day 18, day 18, day 19. So the captain put his rescue out. So one, two, three, four. He could just run on in. Ooh, that's probably not ideal. Oh, actually you can go one, two. He knows this paint, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if he knows the cliff. Is that part of his navigator? He cliffed three six. Um, one. Uh, <laughs> oh damn it! Um, one two three four. He could charge in there. Knowing that the woods girl was clearing that out anyway. He wants to be in there when that thing gets cleared, because if he doesn't... Oh, you know what? Perfect. He's going to hide with his extra phase and then move, 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 move to the rescue. So good. He doesn't have to do any. He just he books it in. Oh, by the way, these guys are totally dead. Um, so that's done. The Woods Girl is going to repeat her one point at a time day. Uh, the wizard is going to and higher. So not hide, but higher. Sorry, that was my fault there. We're going to hire, hire. Uh, 
Uh, we are going to, in the meantime, I mean, we're going to trade and we're going to trade and hide, maybe. There you go. And then hire, hire, done. And then the Witch King. So now that he's where he, uh, I think we have a day 19 for him. We That was the first one, right? Yes. Okay. So cool. Day 19. We're ready to roll here. Uh, one. So we're back to dragons. Uh, so we do trade with the rogues. So I just want to see what they have. Aside from horses, which are which is great. Oops. Uh, they have a map of the ruins and shoes of stealth. Uh, we'll roll on map of the ruins, but I do not care. We're not uh, buying drinks, by the way. Oh, and we get trouble. So that sort of sucks. Oh, and we get block battled. So we get blocked. Uh, okay, that sucks. They didn't like the booze I bought them. Captain is next. Captain is hiding with his extra dwelling phase, which he does. And then he totally books it into right there into dodge. The Witch King moves and moves. And then rests. And then gets one of those back. And does anything pop on him? No. Uh, what about here? Nope, because Flutter, these guys are still dead. So nothing pops there. And the Witch King is done. She's going to go here. She hides two times. It's a four, so she is back in. And we are... Pretty much ready to rumble there. So here we go. And I think, I mean, barely need it now, but I do think that the Woods Girl, ugh, so we barely need it now. If we don't cast control bats, it's going to be a lot harder on the captain. She could very much make his life difficult. On the other hand, um, Uh, I think she's going to cast Control Bat. So she's going to cast, she's going to use her gold magic source. She casts Control Bats. Um, that's, her in, that's her encounter step, effectively. Uh, the So she's casting a spell. So that's what she's going to be able to do. Now she is, but she is unhidden. But nothing is on her sheet. She just becomes unhit. The captain is going to take one of these guys. He's not going to lure because he is hidden. So he is just going to <clears throat> take his free shot. So he's going to ready this weapon with one of these. And he's going to, I mean, and he's going to hit with that. And so where does this guy end up? He ends up going here. Does he flip? Actually, the captain wants him to flip now, but he does not flip. So the captain misses. He is unhidden. Now everyone is unhidden, effectively. But this stays flipped and ready to roll. So let's, uh, let's see where this ends up. So we have two unhidden characters. We have two bats. Uh, so 
The Woods Girl vaguely has a plan. I think she can pull it off. She's going to let that goblin stay on him. Um, or maybe not. So it's round two. Round one is done. She's going to lure both goblins off on one to each bat. So each bat's going to lure, and each bat is going to play on that side, meaning they're going to hit these dudes. It really just comes down, if they flip, they're going to go faster in round two. So these should be auto kills. I don't even know that. So the uh, we're going to play, I, I don't even think we can hit. I don't even think we're going to be fast enough to get a shot in. And the Woods Girl... I mean, she'll shoot also. She'll ready and shoot. But I think this is a done deal already. So let's let's see what happens. So the first goblin ends up staying put. We roll to see if he flips. He does. The second goblin, three. So he goes here. Does he flip? He does. However, the bats are the fastest attack on the board, and this is round two, because round one just saw the Woods Girl pass and the captain attack from hiding. So this bat's going to eat him. This bat's going to eat him. They both do medium damage fast enough, and these guys are done. Like, we are done. Woods Girl is going to take three points out of there. And she has successfully cleared half of... Uh, we got to bring these back to the captain. So she gets three points. He gets no uh, uh, prowess. These go to the, well, the dead pile, but they go... I think they, they're dead dead. Um, these bats remain on the planet, oops, because they are still here, and they're under control of hers for a day. So she does need to work her day here pretty, pretty cleverly, I think. So... Is there anything else going on today? I don't think so. The captain will do his rescue. So he actually does succeed at rescue because he's in the space. So he's going to, she's uh, effectively gave him a point, I would argue. So the captain grabs a point and a follower. The Woods Girl's working hard for this point. But he's not killed anyone. He actually does not have any, he's not, he has no siege right now clout. He's killed the entire siege so far. So I think. I think I think he goes forward and tries to get a kill in this damn sea. So I think he's going to hide, 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 and then move into the goblins with his bash car buddy, who can do some pretty good. Uh, he can he can kill some some gobs. So she has a plan because what day is it today? I think. Uh, is it day? It's day 20. 
So she can't quite... She can't quite get it done today. But she does have... She does have a plan. Better if it were day 21, and then she could just execute this right away. But given that it is day 20, I'm going to have her hide once, and then she is going to rest three times. Her bats... Her bats are going to fly into the evil family. <laughs> um, and they're going to land somewhere in the evil valley for her. And she's not going to ride them. She is going to rest here. She is good to go. She, she needs these three chits back pretty, pretty much. So I think that's her turn. Uh, I think the wizard is... Uh, he is blowout. He does need to do at the end of the day. So he's not attacked by the damn roads. He was just blocked by them. Gosh darn it. I'm going to hire and hire. And I hate to say it because we have to stay here all day. Done. And I think that's going to get us uh, enough maybe to get up into there. So he is done. And then I think the Witch King... Uh, Think the Witch King. What are you trying to... Yeah, we have not had a good outing with the Witch King. Up. I mean, we really... Uh, we just need a damn uh, dwelling just to turn cards in. But I almost think it's too late for that. I think we've, I think we've sort of burned him pretty bad here. Uh... Um, and we do get, uh, the lucky day re-roll. Oops. I used that one. The woods girl gets Delver, which sort of stinks. And then is visit tavern three. In cave three. Uh, very hard to do. So she's not really worried about that. Um, so I think the Witch King. I think we move. So if we move to the Lost Castle, we will successfully find the bow. Uh, as lame as that is. I think we are going to... That is a singular dragon, right? So, okay. So I think we're going to move...
to Curse Valley 1. So extra spell X, spell, move, 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 uh, Curse Valley 1. And so we are done. I think everybody has a day 20 locked and loaded. Let's let's get day 20 out of the way here. I'm going to roll a two now is my guess, just because. Nope, six. More bats, because we love bats. Witch King is first. So the Witch King goes to here, and in the meantime, he flips his last melt into mist. Purple done, and he is good to go. Uh, the Woods Girl, I think she hides out and rests, so she's going to rest two and three. So that is, that's her resting. Uh, she is hidden, potentially. She is, and she flies her bats here. And then they land, end of day. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, so they land here. Plop, right there. That's sort of what she wanted, because now that actually sort of makes the captain, he's going to have a rougher time, because now he's going to have to fight two bats in addition to those things. And she can walk in there next turn also. Uh, he hides three times and then walks into the goblin. So he's going to have to think about his universe here. That's one missed hide. That's one two, oh geez, three, he succeeds, and then ends up here. And he is done. Now those bats do not prowl because, I mean, it doesn't matter, but uh, the wizard is hiding twice just because in case the rogues get uppity again, he does hide. And now he's going to buy drinks once more and higher on the Super hard chart, price times four. Sucks, but we're gonna take it. So that's minus four bucks. And then finally, we're buying drinks the last time. Ah, no deal. Wow, okay, keg of beer is gone. We've hired. That's what we got. It's not the worst. I wish it were a little, little better. I don't think anyone else has. Pretty much the captain has to make a decision. Three goblins, not a big deal. Three goblins and two bats that are now out of control. The They're not in the woods girl's control. Three, three goblins, two bats. That's a rough fight for a lone captain. I, I don't think he fights. I think he stays hidden. Because it's him and the bash car, which is great, but it's just him and the bash car. I don't think that's a good battle for him. Um, oh, I don't think that's a good battle. I don't think it's a good battle at all. Uh, especially, you're not killing one. You're not, you're not auto-killing one either, so that's sort of sort of bad. Okay. I think we're going to stay here. Uh, so day 21, we're going to move to the house. That gives us an extra phase. We're going to burn the purple source today. So tomorrow we're going to have consult demon.
for what it's worth. Rescue is done, by the way. We actually completed it. And we get Secret of the High Pass instead. Uh, I do need to uh, do the Witch King real quick. The Witch King's rescue is going to be here. So he's going to put his rescue here on this dragon. And it's going to be uh, five, company. So company one is stuck there. So that's that's good. Uh, company in Deep Woods. Done. So we're going to head in there and try to nuke that guy to get that rescue point. So in any case, we're going to move to the house. I mean, you could hire the soldiers for like, how much? Two, four, six, ten bucks. That's sort of funny that we could do that. I think instead, though. Because he's so I know uh, I know what she's gonna I mean he knows what he's, she's gonna do. I would know which I mean I would at least have a guess. Cause she's gonna roll in there again with control bats and take those guys out. So if he wants a shot at them, so he's gonna roll in there, he's going to use his extra phase to hide, hide again hide again, and move back to the goblins. So he's going to try to get something going. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so that is done. The woods girl, um, having I think she's going to I mean, she only needs to move once. I say she... Is she going to... She could guarantee the hide, which she does need. So hide, 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 move goblins. So she is done. She would like to get a little bit of a coup there because... <clears throat> um. The wizard is going to take his little entourage and go one, two. Unfortunately, he does not get an extra. He can't can't generate an extra move today, which sort of stinks because it would be really nice to get in there today. But we are going to hide. Maybe maybe we get lucky, right? We're going to move. Move BL1, and then we're going to hide two times. And actually, hopefully, maybe the wolves will come to us. Who the hell knows? The Witch King is going to move to Flutter and find the bug because he is unhidden in that clearing. So that's one, two, three, four. And he's going to move to Deep Woods, five. Move, move. Move and move deep woods five. Now, here's the thing he can't even pick the bow up, he is melted into mist all day today. <laughs> I just want this card gone. This card is killing me. I, I've I've I have not done well. Now, the nice, the interesting thing is whoever pops here is going to regen and it's going to be three. Oh, oh, well, these guys don't regenerate, they are they're siege goblins, so. So who does regen? Uh, the sword goblins are going to regen. 
Uh, where are our axe goblins? All dead, I believe, right? I think our axe goblins regen. Um, there you go. The wolves, these are horde wolves, so done. Um, so they regen. There is purple magic in every clearing. The woods girl goes first. So she hides. She does and she moves in and she is done. The wizard uh, goes up here and he hides. Hides and hides. And he does. And he is hit. Uh, but, but the wolves are prowling. So that's interesting. That might be as good as he could hope for. Done. Uh, El Capitan moves here. He hides. He fails. I think he has another one. He takes two hides, but he does succeed and then goes there. And he did have, he had three of them. So he's going to try to get a, a, a shot on goal. And then we go here. We find a bow and just drop it there. So I'm going to actually put a bow there, um, strangely enough. We abandon the bow in the clearing uh, to, and actually, um, if I can retcon, it's going to go one, two, um, three. Well, it doesn't really mean. Uh, one, two, three. Since I realize now that because I am melted into mist, I could go and sort of meander in. So I'll go one, two, one, two, hide, hide, uh, hide, three, four. So we'll go here, just like that. And we will hide. And he is good. So we're hidden. But now what happens is, is the octopus appears. That's clunky. And a howl mouth? No. Owl cave would be dangerous. And that is that. But we can't do anything tonight for him because he is missed. Done. And not missed as in they missed him. He's literally a ball of gas. So now we have this fight. This is just three lone, lonely, lonely goblins. Two bats. The woods girl is going to use um, the fact that so her so no one's lord, no one's anything, right? The during the uh the encounter step it'd be interesting to create maybe a sheet somehow that that captures all combatants some like there's a weird right I mean presumably no one's ever playing this by themselves uh like I am all the way through uh or presumably they are but so the woods girl, so nothing is lured, nothing is, is right? All the monsters are unassigned by the encounter step in round one. Um, in this case, what we're going to do, so if they flip, they become a four. So what we're going to do is we're going to play the ointment of bite. 
And can we ready a weapon or can we only literally only do that one thing, which sort of stinks, right? Uh, encounter actors. Yeah, so he can only do one or the other. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the ointment of bite for my encounter action. The encounter action for the woods girl is going to be to cast control bats. So she's now has bat hirelings on her side done for the attack action we're gonna play doesn't matter at this point so we're gonna play any old thing and see if we line up on this guy one or a four to line up and two he does not line up uh he goes down there does he flip he doesn't flip done so now we have Two unhidden characters. The Woods Girl is going to lure both of these guys. Now, these guys can actually kill the bats, strangely enough, but only, but I don't think that's going to happen. She's going to lure one to each. So that's the luring step. He stays on his sheet. Since he missed, the weapon flips, and so that will change our play for sure. Um, probably just play that. <clears throat> if he flips, we'll hit him. Same time, longer weapon, kill him. If he hits, if we, so we're not even going to play a move. I mean, we can. We can play any old move, but we don't even need to play a move. He will hit us. He will hit us, but we will hit him first and kill him. If he flips, if he stays on this side, he hits us, does light damage, doesn't even dent the armor. So I think the captain just plays like this and hope that he lines up or flips. And he doesn't even have to play the Bashkar. He could, though, if he wanted to. I'm going to deploy the bash car. So after the luring step, I'm going to deploy the bash car here. And so what that means is the gob the, the bat is now on his own sheet. Or I'm sorry. The goblin is now on his own sheet. The Bashgar being the last deployed character becomes the target of the goblin. And so now we at least have a, a shot at, 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 at taking a kill away from, from that guy, right? The only thing I have to look up, and again, here I am, right? Looking up is... I do need to figure out the horse here. Yep. <laughs> the only thing I need to figure out, does the horse flip? Um, hireling, right?
Uh, denizen sheets. Uh, Native horses never turn under ran over randomly. They never change tactics. Done. There you go. Ooh. Okay. So that's how we're going to play. Perfect. So we're going to play during the encounter step that he's like this because they flip over in the melee step. So. You can always sort of choose which side your horse is going to end up on the melee step. So let's figure out all the fights now. I do, by the way, appreciate it. This is going to be a long, long uh, week here. So let's see if this guy lines up for the captain. He does. Does he flip over for the captain? It barely matters now. He does not. So these attacks go at the same time. Except this one is longer, so it hits first, and he does indeed smash the goblin for a point, and he kills him. Over here, the goblin is going to three, so he's going to flip there. And does he flip over? He does. Where does the bat end up? The bat ends up staying put. Where does the bash car end up? The bash car ends up uh, going down here. Does the bash car flip? He does not. Did the bat flip? I don't know. I don't know if I rolled it. Did the bat flip or not? He does. So, bash car is first. Fastest attack, he is going to hit and do medium damage and kill him. So the captain actually steals two. Um, and then this last fight. Oh, and then the... Uh, and I, I, I hate to say this. I am going to retcon that momentarily because I did the clever thing for the... For him, the captain. If that's the case, then technically in the encounter step for here in round two, she would have readied the bow and she could play the bow. And so given that she knew this was going, see, she could see this happening, she could play anywhere. So let's put these guys all back. So she's going to play like that. And so now let's see what's what. So he stays put instead, and does he flip? He doesn't. I'm going to do the red's the bat, the bash car is the white, the bash car stays put, he goes down here. Does the bat flip? No. Does the bash car flip? Yes. All right, so let's see what's what. So now, though, she gets the first shot. And so her first shot is a 4-3-2-1 to kill this guy, and, he, and she does. So she gets the point. That is true. Now down here. Where do we end up? He ends up going all the way down. Does he flip? He does. Uh, the bat's going to undercut and kill him. So she's going to get three points to the captain's one. Yeah, so sorry about that. I just thought, well, and these are siege goblins. So they're going to, oops, come on. If the captain's going to steal kills, I should at least give the Woods girl all her due, as it were. Now we got two bats over there. 
the siege has been lifted. So now, uh, both, so uh, goblin siege, that's a point for the captain who had a pretty good week. It is also a point for the woods girl who also, um, who had a, a good previous week. So she gets a point and he gets a point. Uh, I don't know that we have anything else going on here. Oh yeah, the wizard has a fight too. So we're gonna give the wizard. Uh, but before that happens, uh, since she killed the leader, I need to roll on the table to see if she gets anything cool that she can use. All right. Goblin C, choose a random dwelling, blah, blah, blah. Whoever kills, oh, just the most goblins. Well, that is the woods girl also. So there you go. Roll. Uh, it's just a roll. So it's a 2d6 roll like any other 2d6 roll in Magic Realm. So let's see what her treasure is. The Horde is the one where if you kill the sword guy, you get a thing. Uh, six. She just gets 46 gold, so she just gets some cash. So let's roll 2d6. Nine. Nine plus. Nine plus seven is 16 gold. So she gets the spoils of war, and that is 16 bucks. Ain't bad. And now we're off onto the wizard. So very interesting here. <clears throat> so we want to play these guys on this side. This goblin's a little rougher. Strangely enough, I think we're going to play him on the side that doesn't do much. Hoping to just not die, pretty much, is the... So if we play him... So what, what do we got here? So on this side, so let's say we play the goblin here and we take this wolf. On this side, the wolf cannot hit, cannot outright kill him. And what does they do on this side? M4, that's bad. So over here, he's L3 and does nothing to the wolf, uh, to him. Now, the only problem here is you do have a chance that So that is sort of the question, right? The question is, how do you manage this fight? it's a it's a decent fight. it's not it's not a loser for the wizard. But you are going to have to manage. All these guys. So we could play here. And drag one of these here. So him as a for instance. And this guy here, and take one of these, and then if we just leave them be for now, so we're going to leave these guys as is. Um,
then these guys are randomly assigned. And so this guy goes to, oops, two. So he's here. This guy goes to two. So or, yeah, that was a three, sorry. And this last guy goes to five. So evens out a little bit. One, two, and three. So let's put our attack on him. Let's put our attack on him. Let's put our attack here and just see what the heck happened. Once one of these guys flips, then I think the wizard makes a decision to get involved or not. Because he can kill anything at a time four or worse. So let's see what happens to the first goblins here. So four, everybody stays exactly put. That's probably for the best. Does the first guy flip over? He doesn't. Does the second guy flip over? He does. Okay. That probably worked out for our goblin. In fact, staying put would be great on all of these. Two does not stay put. He shifts down here. That might be okay. Let's uh, see what we got. Does the second guy flip? He doesn't. Does the third guy, the thir this box flip? He doesn't. I think we're okay. Let's see how this one plays out. Four. So everyone stays put. I think we're good. He flips. Second one flips. Okay, let's let's see it out here. Longer weapon attacks first. So this 10 is way longer and he stabs him and he is dead. So that's the first thing that happens. This attack hits, doing light damage to the medium goblin. And thus nothing. Uh, down here. Longest attack is first and misses. These two attacks both miss. Good. Down here. Longest attack hits. It intercepts. This wolf is killed. This attack misses. Done. Okay. That is good so far. So let's see. Ooh, that was pretty damn lucky, I would say, actually. I think he stays here. I think we... So I think what we're going to do is I think we're going to lure... I think we're going to lure him off of that sheet. Or we don't have to lure it off that sheet. We could. We could play hidden once, effectively. Since we're still hidden, no one's on our sheet. If we stay like this, we could play it hidden one time. So we're going to play hidden. We're going to play from hiding once. We're going to play this M3 on here once. And what we're going to do is, so we're going to put him there. That's the target of the guy. The wizard's target is that guy. And then I don't think we need any more of these since we'll just play these straight up. So we jump out of the bushes to protect our guy with the staff. And let's play these out. 
This guy up here, five, he goes down one. Does he flip? No, done, okay? Yeah, because if he does flip, he can't hit him. Okay, fine. Uh, this one, five, uh, what does that mean? That means everyone shifts down one. Do the wolves flip? First box, flips. Oops. Uh, second box, flips. That might be the best possible thing that can happen. Let's, 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 uh, we'll check that out in a minute. Uh, next thing is five. So he's going to go down one. Does he flip? Yes, he does. So let's go look it up. <laughs> so, uh, the fastest attack misses right there, and he misses. So we are... Ooh, the fastest attack hits. I'm sorry, he undercuts him, doing light damage, which does nothing to that goblin. The fastest attack here is the M3 length 9 attack, which undercuts the wolf and kills him. The second fastest attack is this L3, which undercuts this wolf and kills him. Here, uh, the fastest attack is this three and it misses, and then he misses back. Done. So now, let's see. I, I, Say we I say we're gonna, you know, so this guy's gonna take a breather. We are going to play on this side again on right here. So let's see where this wolf ends up. Two, so he ends up going down all the way there. Does he flip? He does not flip. So in this ca in this case, uh, this attack this attack is slightly faster because it's longer and it undercuts and kills the wolf and he is dead. Down here. The wolf stays put. He doesn't flip. This attack is an L3, faster than an L4. It does medium damage and kills the wolf. And we have successfully cleared the wolf plague from the magic realm. Wolf plague. And that is a victory point for the wizard. That is also seven twenty one notoriety for the wizard. Not bad. Not bad for hiring two rogues and having a rando goblin. These guys are in the dead pile. Uh, and there you go. That was that's the wizard's day. Um, the Witch King is missed all day, so he's not doing jack. Uh, Wolf Plague. Does he actually get anything out of the Wolf Plague? Is that is there a Plague of Wolves? Uh, kill the most wolves, you do get a thing. So you roll a, a single d6. So there you go. So wacky that I have... Some of them are rolls, some of them are d6 rolls. We're going to roll a d6. What do we get here? A six. He also just gets 46 gold. Pounce. Uh, that's six gold for the wizard. And five. So 11 gold for the wizard. <laughs> Which keeps him out of the negative, at least. So that is our day 215. One of the longest ones of these I have done in 
quite a while. Let's look at the scores if you would. The captain has five card points. He has 26 prowess. So let's see. 26 prowess versus 14 versus 36. He is in second place in prowess. He has 21 gold, but that is with a minus minus five. Well, no, he does not have a minus five, and I'll tell you why, because he got the helmet back. So he has no minus. So he has, and the ointment of bite, by the way, goes to the crown because it was used. So we will, there. Um, so 21 gold. Uh, is he in 36 gold, 14 gold, 20 gold? 21 gold. So he wins. He's in second place in gold. So he gets a gold point. And he has no gray treasures. So that is going to give us seven points total. So all in all, that was a pretty good showing for the captain this third week. Now we're on to the Woods Girl. The Woods Girl has six points in card. She's not... Um, so she has six points in cards. Uh, Prowess-wise, she has 14 prowess. 26 prowess versus 36 prowess. She's in third place in prowess. So no points there. Gold, she has, I think, number one. She has 36 gold. So she is winning gold outright. She is winning gold outright. That's going to give her eight points total. So six points in cards. Two points in gold, no prowess, no great treasures. Eight points. The wizard has now scored seven points in cards. He has two points in prowess. His 14 gold, I don't think, is enough. I think he's 21, yeah, 36. He has 14, so zero points in gold. And But that's still, strangely enough, with seven points in cards, because he scored three last week and three this week, it gives him nine points. Now the Witch King has only two points in cards still. He has no points in gold because he's being beaten by a single point. So no points in gold, no points in great treasures. He's going to score two points in spells, and that's going to end up giving him four points. Uh, so, all right. That's where we ended up. That's week three. Um... I mean, Witch King aside, this has actually been quite a good quite a good week. Um, lots of interesting stuff, lots of fighting, uh, clearing out some of these. Uh, the Goblin Siege is done. The Wolf Plague is done. Uh, the peddler is out, so we'll take him off the cards. We still have the goblin horde. The lost shaman has been uh, uh, unshaman. So we're we're really getting on there. So it's it's two hours and twenty though. So I'm gonna buzz out of here. So 
I might try to finish this tonight and, and post another one because um, just because it's so interesting between these top three here. So talk to you later. Bye-bye.